Hey guys, okay, so um, I'm going to be working on a little painting right now. Uh, I have a commission that's a self imposed commission that I created uh, when I got my 300th follower on Instagram. This happens to be a restaurant that does burgers. So I said, well, you know, you're my 300th follower. Uh, why don't uh, I make a piece of art uh, for your restaurant as a thank you for being my 300th follower? So they said yes, and I have procrastinated on that for about a month. This is really pretty terrible, but uh, one of the main reasons was the weather was awful. It's very cold, so I couldn't really do any work outside. And I want to do kind of a bigger piece. Um, I'm using spray paints and everything, so I kind of needed to be outside. It's been so cold, but finally today we got a little bit of nice weather, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. I've already kind of started the process. I'll show you where I'm at. Um, obviously, some of my supplies parade on the ground. Um, and this is what I'm going to do it on. It's a... I love the, the slant of the sun there. Actually, as a matter of fact... I'm going to use that. Um, it's a large piece of paper. I've already uh, spray painted some stuff on it. My supplies in. Um, and here's some preliminary drawings that I did. I'm going to use the wimpy character from Popeye. Uh, I just happen to love him. He's sort of like the uh, ultimate kind of um, sort of uh, happy-go-lucky guy although he's never very happy I think because he's always broke but um, he does enjoy eating hamburgers so he knows what he likes uh, so I'm gonna go ahead because it's a hamburger joint I thought that would be appropriate and I have some more coffee to drink I do want to use that uh, slant there um, Okay, so, um, I like this, the weather is participating in this painting. Um, I painted this gold on it a little bit earlier, then the wind blew it up here like this, and I turned around and I actually, I didn't create that, the wind did. Uh, and the sun's creating this nice line that I want to use. There we go. I'll, I'll use this stick. And draw this line. Not sure why. But a stick is also, I use a stick for barbecue, so I'm actually going to. Since it is a burger joint, yeah, I'm sure they'll appreciate. And if you think I'm just crapping around here, well, you know. I'm sure you've heard of using charcoal pencils in your painting, and this is a big charcoal pencil because it's actually a burnt piece of wood. I would suggest it's probably the first pencil that was ever used in the history of man would be a burnt piece of wood. So, yeah, back to the roots. Ah, what a great pencil. Look at this. Wow. Some great lines here, huh? So, yeah. That's all created thanks to the sun and my charcoal stick, which is perfect for this hamburger drawing. Now, one of the things I like to do in my work is to leave a little bit of room for randomness. Um, because uh, that frees up your spirit to focus more on uh, getting the job done which is always the tough part when you're doing work. 
is to actually just do it. That's so hard. All right, so I'm gonna pause the cameras while I get some more supplies. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna use this yellow here. Uh, was just staring at me from the top of the pile of paints. Also, I had already thought previously that I wanted to use some yellow. And this is that uh, yellow that I'm running out of because I've used a lot of it because I really kind of want to get rid of it. Um, there we go. So I'm going to just use it right out of the tube. It's not bad. It's a good color. Throw that in here. Yeah, it's going to make a good bottom layer here for painting on. You know, remember what I said in the other videos, always want to think about your underpainting. Well, that's what I'm doing here. This is sort of a hybrid drawing slash painting. That I'm doing, but I'm definitely laying in an under undercoat here. There we go. That's a nice color. Okay. So I put some of that orange in. I wanted that, which is perfect. All right, so what I'm doing here is I've grabbed some uh, uh, paint. I thought I was going to be able to do this with a paint marker, but I don't happen to have black, a black paint marker. I guess I used it all up. So I'm going to go ahead and use paint and a brush. And essentially, I've just taken some umber and some dark blue pigment. Uh, and I'm just going to mix these together real quick and that's going to create a dark bluish type color blue brown almost black but not quite black more blue than black and um, yeah it's actually quite flat and very black looking because the warm and that umber or it might be sienna, I'm not sure, but the, the warm in that color with the blue against the blue essentially goes black, which is good. It's what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and paint, but I was, first I wanted to show you, look, the barbecue supplies are right under this painting, so that's very appropriate. So this is a perfect example right now, okay, <clears throat> of a certain form of procrastination. Um, I've got my paint ready and it's drying very quickly. So if I hesitate, which I'm doing right now, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna drink some coffee. I'm gonna think about it, which I really don't need to do. All I need to do is just start drawing. But I'm so afraid of messing this up now that I prepared the the foundation here. I'm scared that if I mess it up, you know. But really, honestly, if I really think about it, so what? I just tear the sheet of paper off. I start again. But in your mind it just plays over and over that you're gonna mess up you're gonna mess up and if you mess up you know you don't have to start over and you might not want to or you might want to go eat some pizza or whatever in my case drink some coffee I'm gonna drink some coffee but then I'm gonna draw it all work all work has built-in inertia resistance I don't know what you want to call it gravity something you can't it's like a rocket it's hard to get, get it to lift off the ground you know Once you get into space, 17,000 miles an hour, but get it off the ground, not easy. I love Wimpy's hand holding the hamburger, um, but I also love his face. So his head needs to be over here. Okay, there's the first line. Do his ear, I think once I do his ear, yeah, I'll be okay. Okay, in here, there's Wimpy's face, and then he goes like this. Yeah, pretty good. That's pretty good. All right. So, for now, now I need to do his nose. I think the nose is really where Wimpy's entire character is. His 
personality. Elsie Seeger, who's the inventor, creator of Popeye, was really an incredible artist. And this paint's drying fast, so I gotta move. Move with it. Then the hat. The hat's really important. I wanted to get the hat. the hat. You know, at first I didn't think I was going to do this with a brush. I thought I was going to do this with a marker. I made his hat kind of big, but that's okay. I'll live with it. He's got a stripe on here. Now, I don't know if I'm going to come in and color this. Possibly, but anyway, his eyes are here, running out of paint. This one piece is a little bit skinnier than the normal one. Alright. <clears throat> one thing I need to paint on him is his mustache. I think Wimpy is the perfect embodiment of the amateur artist or poet. He's got a poetic soul, but absolutely no No willpower. In other words, that's why everybody identifies with Wimpy because he represents the thing that we all face when we set out to do something. Yeah? which is procrastination, uh, deferring responsibility. I'll pay you on Tuesday, you know. I don't want to mess that five up. It's such a good five. Okay, a few interruptions later, actually a day later, because uh, that's the way life is. Um, so, back at it, and I mixed some brown with that blue pigment, and I added some medium this time. Lost medium, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, yeah, it's got a nice, it's giving it a really, really nice texture here. And I gotta do this pretty quickly. Let's see. I think I got that. So, like I said, I've gotta finish this off pretty quickly. But I have a. Um, I have to go to Best Buy to buy an HDMI cable because tomorrow night I'm in DJ downtown in Houston and I need that cable for the show. So, let me finish this really quickly. I could have put this off till tomorrow, of course, but no, I just, this, this has been actually bothering me all day and all the rest of the day yesterday. It's like when I don't finish something, it sort of gets inside me and it just won't stop eating, eating at me. So, and this is already very late. I, I've delayed handing this in. 
So that's just not cool. And uh, I just want to make sure I get this to this guy. Even though it was a self-created um, commission, because um, I'm the one who offered. I'm the one who offered to. Uh, see, I messed this up yesterday. I'm the one who offered to uh, give them this, this painting for free. It's still somehow troubling me. I don't know. You know, any any step. in terms of making art for others is going to make me very, very nervous. And just got to fight through it. What I'm trying to do here. All right, Mr. Wimpy, let's do this. Okay. Now, I've got to do the hand. I'm already running out of paint a little bit, too. Wow. All right, let me make some more paint. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you the finished piece. I uh, ran into some camera problems, blah, blah, blah. Didn't get the rest of the video of me painting it, but uh, you can see it. There it is finished now just about to take it uh, downtown to the restaurant and uh, came out pretty good I framed it all right I'll try to take some pictures of me downtown at the restaurant too all right take care